Oh, God. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jam. So today we're going to play uh, playing some Dying Light now. And right now I'm running away from some Volatiles, which I don't think they're attacking me. Oh, I smacked that one. All right, let's go. Oh, and I am on the run. Let's get going. Oh, no. So now we got to run back to the tower after collecting all these light bulbs. If you guys haven't played this, this game is pretty fun. I know this game came out a while ago. And I'm kind of disappointed it took me this long to actually uh, to start playing this. To actually have started playing this game. There you go. I'm really disappointed in myself because I love zombie games. And zombie games are my thing. And these volatiles. Oh, okay. Let's keep running. Oh, no. I'm going to get hit. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit. Oh. I'm running for the volatiles. Whoa, run, Jay. We got this. We are running. <laughs> Forrest Gump running in here, bro. Let's do it. Woo. And if you guys haven't played this game, you guys should. I know it's kind of old. I got it on sale from Xbox Store today for about, I think it was $19, which is a pretty good deal to have for this game. And if you guys haven't tried it, please try it. Okay. Looks like I didn't get hit. I didn't get killed. We are good. All right, guys. This game is both fun, scary, and awesome. <laughs> it's 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 three things: scary, awesome, thrill. It's it's a bunch of things. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it is a bunch of things for this game. So if you guys know, at nighttime is the time to go out. Really, you get double XP for both your power or for what is it called? For your parkouring, for your melee, and for also your, your I think your personal level too. Now, the reason why you get double XP if you guys already play this, you guys should know because you have these creatures called the Volatiles that only come out at night and they're super hard to kill and they're super fast too. Now, in the beginning, yeah, they are. It is kind of hard to play at night though. You just gotta know how to play and you mainly wanna stick to being on the roofs don't stay on the ground and you should have a fun time honestly I really haven't been caught yet by these volatiles oh, I'm just getting smacked though but if you do they're pretty easy to run away just find a safe zone and make sure wherever you're going has a safe zone so you don't die holy crap do they see me no not yet so we're good I think they're sensing me though honestly yeah see they're already finding me Uh, there we go. Trash bags are your friends in this game. Let's get going. Oh no, I went totally wrong way. It's a plant though, I need that. All day, boy. What is up? I'm jumping over all y'all. Woo! Oh, nice. Man, I thought I had that. <laughs> nope, guess not. What's up, guys? Now that I survived the night, if you, uh, how can I say what this game is? This game is a open world parkour first person shooter, freaking awesome game. Uh I really like that. Okay, so if you guys played open world zombie games, you guys know what you know they're about. They're pretty fun. They're open world. You can go anywhere. The map for this game is pretty huge. It doesn't seem that big when you look at the actual map. But when you're running around and you're doing the things you're supposed to do, running away from zombies, killing zombies, or just doing a mission, the map and the world in this does seem really huge. And it seems like I haven't explored everything, which I haven't, I think. Yeah, there's a couple of dark areas in the map, but 
other than that, there's still a bunch of things I felt like I haven't seen. And, oh, man, this game, this open world is just super open, man. Uh, I think the last game that I played was, last zombie open world game was Dead Island. And it didn't feel so open world. It was like you were supposed to go in one area and you weren't able to go further than that. You were just stuck. Not, okay. So, okay, Dead Island, open world. But I feel like there was a line you were supposed to go to. Like, okay, hold on. Somebody's getting killed. I gotta see what's up. <laughs> You're welcome. So, you know, Dead Island was supposed to be an open world game. But then when you played it, you felt like there was only one way to go to the next area. And there wasn't really much to explore. And that was all great and stuff. Okay, they, they kind of made it open world. They made it where you can explore some type of area. But at the same time, though, if you wanted to go some... Oh, damn it. Oh! Okay, what am I what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Charlie, Charlie, see you for Charlie. Okay, is that gonna stop him? It is, okay, cool. What am I looking for? Charlie Charlie? Oh, okay, Z Gotcha. Okay, so as I was saying, it didn't feel like it was open world when you were kind of stuck in one little area. And to move forward, it was only one way to move forward, and it was the way they wanted you to move forward. Which I didn't like really in Dead Island. And it was a fun game, don't get me wrong, I really like Dead Island. But this game though, it's, it's open world, man. You can go wherever you feel like, you can climb whatever you can climb, or you can climb whatever you want. And if you can climb it, then do it. I really haven't had any problems with this game playing it. I think the game's super fun. And there's a lot of climbing involved. And I really like how there's two things to level up. Such as the skills. You have your survivor, your agility, and your power level. Cool. And I really like that's the way they put it in this game. Where you have three things to level up. Your power, your survivor, and your agility. So you're able to run faster. Do all these crazy jumping moves. Which is all pretty awesome. Oh, wait. So, but yeah, this game is it's fun. It is open world. There is a lot of crafting involved with the game. Uh, I haven't tried the online experience where you're able to become a zombie or you have a player who is a zombie attacking you. Uh, not for any reasons, just because I want to try to play the campaign more. And I really like that, you know, <laughs> uh, all the side missions are always different, but they're sort of the same thing. And what I mean by that is... When you go to a mission, of course, somebody wants you to do something for them, so you have to go do it. There's something chasing me. Yep, right there. Oh. And there's always something for you to do in this game. Now, side missions are all different, but like I said, it's it's always that somebody wants you to do something for them, so then you can continue doing the side mission. So you go do a side mission, and then from that side mission, you're doing a whole other side mission because they want you to do something for them, and you're like, oh, God. And it's always like that. It always feels like it's something like that. Save. Oh. Now, this is what I like. In this, when you liberate a safe house, you gotta close the door so no extra zombies come in. And then you gotta kill the ones that are already in here. And that's pretty awesome. And that's how you get a, uh, a safe house. And these safe houses will really help you at night when you're Getting chased by some volatiles. Or volatiles? Volatiles? Oh! Oh! What's up, bud? Oh my god. It's a parkour zombie. Awesome, and there you go. And that's how you liberate a safe house. <laughs> that's great. So. Uh, overall, if you guys haven't played this game, you guys should, like I said in the beginning. 
This game is fun. It's scary. It's crazy. It's thr thrilling, too. And there's always something to do in this game. I've probably picked up like 10 side missions that I haven't done. I've done the story quest a couple of times. I'm probably like 15% done with the actual story. And there's still much more to do. Uh, look at that. This entire... Okay, you know what? Let's cut it right here and let's go all the way to the roof so I can show you how magnificent this entire world is. Alright guys, now look at, look at this. This is pretty amazing. That's Roz's flags. All of this you can explore and just go crazy with. Oh, I'm dead. Overall, you guys kind of get how big the map is. It's pretty awesome, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to do more videos about this game. I really like it. And try to do some <laughs> running away from zombies or getting better. Oh, and another thing before I go. Before this video ends... The more you help people around you, the more this tower starts changing. Before, this guy was never up here. Um, he was never up here doing this garden, this vegetable garden for them to create food. This was never up here. And the more you help around the tower, the more the tower changes. So the mission I did before this, or when I was doing this video, is I need to get some UV lights for the outside. So hopefully when this, <laughs> hopefully if I go to nighttime, it should be there. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.